Hey, planner friends, it's time for Friday Night Lights. I'm Nia. This is Life with Nia. Welcome to my channel. So happy to have you here with me this evening, this afternoon. I don't know when you're watching this, if it's really Friday night. Um, but I'm happy to have you here regardless. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you're returning, don't forget to hit that like button. Friday Night Lights is where I share with you all of the goodies that I have accumulated over the week. Um, usually it is all planner items. This week I do have a few lifestyle items to share. So I'm going to start with um, the ring light that I purchased from Amazon. So I'm using it so you can't actually see it. Um, I have been, in my opinion, struggling with light and my box light is not really doing it for me and it's back to not working again. I don't know what that's about. Um, I've had it for like a year and when it works, it works okay, but I still feel like the light is not bright enough. My desk does not face the window, so I don't get light from the window. Um, to move it would be like an act of Congress. It's just not going to happen. Um, and so my friend told me, get a ring light. And I have a little one that goes on your phone. Um, it clips on, actually. This is it. Um, and this works pretty good. Um, but I got this big 17 and a half inch ring light and it's awesome. So um, I grabbed that. I was looking at the, I think it's N newer or newer brand. Um, it was about $125 and this one was like a recommended option um, on the same page. And so clicked on that, compared the specs. I'm a researcher, so I compared the specs, went back and forth. And this one actually had more things, more amenities to it and seemed better than that one for a fraction of the cost. So it was um, $58.99 and then it had a 10% off uh, coupon or I guess it's a coupon that you can add to it. So I ended up paying $56.99 with tax and everything. And if you know anything about California, our taxes are high. Um, and it does all kinds of little fancy stuff. Um, you can make it warm or cool. Um, it plugs in so I don't have to worry about uh, um, charging anything. Although that there is that option. It has a Bluetooth. Um, it has a wireless remote. So... Um, I can like clip my phone on to here. I have to, there's a screw. So I'm assuming I can screw my camera onto it as well. Um, so yeah, that is what I, I grabbed. And so far I've been using it for about a week now. I really like it. I'm happy with it. It's 17 and a half inches. This says 16 inches, but it's like when I measure it, it's 17 and a half, um, almost 18 inches. So um, I think this is going to make me happy. Um, I've been, I've used it to take some pictures, um, for thumbnails and for pictures for Etsy and the light, like I have to do no or very minimal editing to the picture because the light is good. So that is my first, um, thing for you. And here's the name again, U B E E S I Z E U U B size. And it's a 17 and a half inch ring light. And that was on Amazon. It will be linked below. All right. So that's thing one. Thing two. Um, Y'all know I love the color street on the nails. So this is my favorite color, Sahara Jewel. And my friend Alicia is my dealer. So I just got these in the mail. She sent me this cute little card, which I love this little rainbow color and um, some, some freebie samples. So I got that and I grabbed some new colors. My, my Sahara Jewel wasn't available. Um, I grabbed this one. It is called Rust Worthy. And I felt like this was without the sparkle, kind of close to like the color that I like with the Sahara Jewel. And then I grabbed this, I believe it's Bordeaux Glitz. And I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. Um, but I thought I'd give it a whirl. Um, grab this one. This is called Made in Milan. And um, it is like a really, 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 it looks black. But it's like a really dark 
um, burgundy black. And so I thought that would be nice. I also got midnight, which is black. Um, so that's this sort of the color I'm feeling for the fall winter time. Um, and so, um, this is one that I've used before called Giza Sands. And so I grabbed this one. I'm typically not big on the, I love Sahara Jewel. I'm typically not good, good, good on the, the plain, colors because I feel like they don't last as long for me. Um, the sparkle, which I'm not a fan of sparkle, but it feels like it lasts longer and they're a little bit thicker. And so um, this is just like my favorite color and my go-to. It just always looks really nice. It works with my skin tone. Um, and this is Sahara Jewel. So whenever this one's available, I try to stock up. I'm on my last package and I'm like stressing, but I have options. So grab my... um my color street. If you're interested in color street, I will also put Alicia's info down below. She, um, her website is lovebyblue.com and I will definitely link that for you. I recommend her. She has amazing customer service and will ship you all your goods post haste. So that's my color street, um, goodies that I got this week. Next goodie is Erin Condren. I don't know why I placed this order because I like I'm still not even really feeling Erin Condren. But um I don't know. I had 20% off coupon and everything was 20% off, and I just can't not order stuff. I have a problem. Um, so I grabbed a few things. And the first thing here is I grabbed this Gemini charm to add on to my planner. I'm like really into planner charms right now. So I grabbed that, grabbed a couple of sticker sheets, nothing exciting, not even sure if I'm gonna use these. I might around Christmas time use this one and I don't know when use this one, but I like to have options. Um, so I grabbed those things and then I grabbed this acrylic nesting desk organizer. So you've got your designer tr desk tray, accessory tray, pen holder and mail sorter and I just do not have good use of my space on my desk um side note you can get like these acrylic trays at Dollar Tree um so you know I went the more expensive route but I love the um mid-century circles in the gold on here I think that that is really pretty and that is not an option at Dollar Tree um if you go to Dollar Tree and you can't find them no need to comment and tell me that I'm wrong. My Dollar Tree has them. Yours may not. <laughs> not a spokesperson for Dollar Tree. I'm just letting you know. I did get some earlier this year at Target as well, but I have filled up everything. And I just thought this was pretty and would look nice on my desk. So um, you've got the, the nesting tray on the bottom. And this is taped on here, but... I don't want to undo everything. So you've got the nesting tray on the bottom and you can use it separately. Um, and then this is the mail sorter. This is the little small tray that is taped in here. And then you've got the tall um, tray or container as well. The pen holder. So grab that from Erin Condren. And like I said, I had a 20, it was 20% off. They were having a sale and then I had a 20% off coupon. So um, that was probably the only way that I was going to buy it is if I could get like 40% off of it or 20 and 20 because it's really not 40 when you do it that way. So that's that. Next is, um, this is a new to me shop called Chic Blossom Prints. And there was a sale, like a collab sale, um, called the Girl Bo Boss Planner Sale. So um, I was looking through all the different shops participating. I'd never heard of any of them. And so I decided I would try a new to me shop and that is the Chic Blossom. And I don't have, I'll have to look and see in here if there's something that shows the shop name so I can show it to you. This is my receipt, so I don't want to show all my info. Um, now, the one thing I will say about this, so everything was 40% off for the sale. Um, so the prices were excellent. 
Um, but the one thing I will say, and it was well advertised on the website, was that shipping would be three to four weeks. So I ordered October 23rd. I received it November 10th. So it was about two and a half, three weeks, which for me is like an eternity. Um, but it was well within her time frame. And um, one of the things that I really think is cute that she does, and it has me thinking, I maybe I should do this for my shop, um, is this rewards card. And so when you fill up the rewards card, you can um, get a $10 shop credit. And so for every 15 you spend, you get a little sticker to put on here. And so, um, what is that? 30, 60, $75. You spend 75 and you get a $10 shop credit. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so that came in with my order and then I got this little freebie sheet and these stickers I was, oh, actually these are freebies as well. So this, this is a freebie sheet. This was, um, this one was when you spend 25 and this one was when you spend 50. So I spent, I think, 55, and that was after discounts. So it was 85 before discounts, uh, 55 after my shipping was free. So these were two freebie sheets that I also received, and I thought these were really pretty. And these are nice freebies. Um, so I, I got those, but I, the, I was looking at these on the... Um, on Instagram. She had like little video clips and my goodness, these were some gorgeous stickers. So I, I was drawn in. Um, almost all of them are foiled. I am not one to buy foiled stickers. I think they're pricey and it's not necessarily my thing, but these stickers are beautiful y'all. So um, every sheet has this beautiful either gold or silver foil and look how pretty that is. Um, so I am looking forward to using these. I will probably use them um, in my spread this upcoming week. Um, so these are kits. And this is, um, gosh, there's so many stickers here that, that, like, there's no way that I will use them all in one single week. Um, isn't that beautiful? That foil is just gorgeous. Um... Yeah, that is just beautiful. So this is one kit and I want to just go through here quickly. I just, it had more boxes and things than I could ever use. And so since I have two of the days of the week, um, definitely enough for two weeks here and really more than enough for more than two weeks. This is so pretty. Look at that foil. Oh, I am not a foil person, but I'm telling you when she was showing these on Instagram, I was like, I'm a foil person today. Um, just beautiful, beautiful stickers. Okay. And so then I grabbed this one. And so the one I just showed you was called fall fashion. This one's called fall bloom. And this one has silver foil. And just gorgeous. Lots and lots of headers and boxes. She also has them um, a little less expensive with no foil. So same exact kit without the foil. Um, if foil is not your thing, but you like the design, that option is also available. But I'm telling you, these foil stickers are amazing. They're beautiful. So that is the Fall Bloom set. The next one is Baby It's Cold Outside. And I thought this was really pretty with the pink. And so this is pink and silver foil. Not pretty. Look at this. Oh, I cannot wait to use this. I think this will look so good with that simply gilded plaid washi. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 And look, I mean, it's just so many sheets with each kit. I just... 
I am in love with these stickers. They are so beautiful. So this is that um, Baby It's Cold Outside kit. And then the last one, this is the one that drew me in because you know I love the blue. The Baby It's Cold Outside kind of drew me in too. But this blue, this is blue with silver foil. This is called Farmhouse Winter. So pretty. Look at these. Oh my goodness. And this gray, blue and gray, you are speaking my language. So I grab this. Look how pretty that is. I have stickers for days. Like, I need to stop. Look at this. These are so gorgeous. And these have the days of the week. It's kind of hard to see what the foiling says. But so pretty. Okay, so I grab those. New Shop Chic Blossom prints. And you can see her shop name there. She's on Etsy. And I definitely, even though I haven't used the stickers yet, definitely recommend you check it out. All right, next is cloth and paper. You know, it, it's an odd week if I don't have a cloth and paper order. Um, this was a happy hour order, so I think one of my pins fell in the trash. I need to check. I have a little trash bag set up on the side of my cart, and I knocked this over a few times. So these are not, Petey says hi. No, I only, I only got three packages, three pins. These are not new to me. They are um, the Keiko, K-A-C-O, Pure Soft Touch Gel Pin. And I like these because they are different colors. So Seaside Blue, Bean Red, and Spruce Green. And I like to write like thank you notes with these on my um, orders. Um, and I thought the red and green would especially be pretty for Christmas time. So this is Seaside Blue. That's really pretty. Um, and other than that, I'm not a big colorful pen person. Um, I typically use black. I will occasionally use blue. This is bean red. But I love how these write. They are 0.5 millimeter gel pins. And here's what it says on the... And they also say Keiko Green, so it doesn't matter what the, the color is. It doesn't say it just because it's... That's not going to focus. Come on. Okay, yeah. Let me see if I move this. No, it doesn't want to focus on that one. Okay, so anyway, um, and here is the green. So this is spruce. Green. I love these. Okay, so grab those. They were in stock new um, or restock. And then I grabbed... Stuff I did not need. So these cotton sticky notes that are transparent because I cannot get enough of the transparent anything. Linen circle sticky notes. Transparent cappuccino. Memo notepad. I have one of these, but I'm going to take one to work. And I'm probably going to take the linen circle sticky notes to work as well. And then I grab the Avant. Um, 
these are the transparent shape stickers, the dots, um, and I love the black, so I grabbed those. So that is my cloth and paper order. And last but not least, I want to share um, what I've been working on. This is really just today. Um, it is Thursday. I typically film Friday Night Lights on Thursdays. Um, so you may have seen my video sharing um, the new releases that I have coming to my shop, Studio Bliss Co. Um, and I've been working on new budget kits Look, I have some more freebies that were in my cloth and paper order. So this little memo card is cute. And it's like a heavy cardstock. And then I got these blank tabs. And then this is make it simple but significant. That's cute. Okay. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, so I've been working on some kits. Um, my goal is to get like January through April or May done. And so I'm trying to figure out, you know, what, um, what I like for spring. I thought this was pretty. Um, I'm not feeling the, the, um, thin strips with this. Um, but I love this and I'm not a big floral person, but I thought that was pretty. And then I thought this watercolor was really pretty. So those will be fun for spring. I'm trying to learn how to, in my mind, think about um, a season ahead, you know, for my business so that I'm not putting out my kits at the last minute. Now this, it's um, very, very light, like a blush pink. Um, so this is the same thin strips. I like thin strips with the matching, but it doesn't match on here. So um, those are like my you know, kits that I'm thinking for spring, but I am still at the drawing board. I haven't completely decided yet. And then I have this one for like maybe February or for Valentine's Day. I don't know how I feel about the hearts. Would love to know how you feel about the hearts. What do you think? Um, I don't know that I like that. I thought I did, but I don't know. Um, I think I like a floral better than the hearts, but I may, I'll have it as an option anyway. So that is what I have, but let me show you all what I have that I plan to use for January. And you could even use this for December. I am in love with this. I'm in love, in love, in love. Y'all know I love blue. Is that not beautiful? It is like an ombre. And it's got like a splash in there. I am getting ready to lay this down in my planner. I'm ready for January. This is going to be my kit. Look how pretty this is. I'm quite impressed with myself, if you can't tell. Look at these deco strips. Oh, it's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. I am just loving this kit. The only thing I need to work on is, um, so my Bill Do stickers, I thought it was because I was running out of ink, but like they're more purpley, uh, but I reprinted and they still are more purpley. So I need to go back and work on the color. Um, it is closer to the color here, and I think I want it closer to the color here. So these will end up in my oops supply. But let me know what you think about this kit and what you think about the florals. I am loving them, um, and there's nothing more fun than having a haul from your own store. So I'm going to pull all those little new holiday dolls out for my own planners, and I am going to set up January in my planner and take photos so I can get this listed because these will be available for Black Friday. All right, so that's everything for this Friday Night Lights. I had a little Amazon, a little Erin Condren, a little Chic Blossom Prints, a little Color Street, a little cloth and paper, and a little bit of Studio Bliss Co. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did. If you have any comments, questions, um, let me know it down in the comments. And if you... Um, 
let me know what you think about the, the hearts as well. Um, or which one of those kits is your favorite. And let me know what your favorite thing from this haul was. I'm definitely loving those foiled stickers. That is just speaking to me right now. I can't wait to play in those. So thanks for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.